Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey. Feel free to hit the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram at Bailey M. Stewart. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about BFR bands. I've been asked about this so many times. I've also posted on TikTok and gotten some rude comments. So yeah, we're just gonna address a bunch of stuff. I did a ton of research before this video. I never once was promoting this item. So I was just wearing them people were asking me questions so i told them that i use it so i'm gonna be talking about my experience using them how long i've been using them how to use them and if i genuinely think it works so without further ado let's get into the video okay so i started using bfr bands i want to say right before the quarantine or maybe after like as soon as it started i bought a pair on amazon i bought these I will actually show the new ones that I use because I'm not crazy about these because this part kind of hurts and then the string does not stay in the loop so you have this long fabric just kind of hanging there and it looks really awkward. So I got a new pair, they're the brand Energy, and I will have a link down below and I'll have a discount code as well. So if you click through that link, enter my discount code, you can get some. I got them in the color pink but I'll talk about these later. So I guess first topic is how to use them and the research I did on them. So you don't wanna use them longer than 20 minutes. I didn't know this at first. So people on TikTok were like yelling at me, being like, oh my God, you're misleading people. First of all, my video was talking about just my workout. I was just wearing them. I was not misleading people, but Anyways, only wear them for 20 minutes and only do lightweight. I had been using them since the beginning of quarantine, not doing that. I had no issue, but don't, I don't recommend it. Like if it's going to cause injury, don't do it. I'm very lucky I didn't get injured, but I stopped doing that because I, I don't want to injure myself. Also talk to your doctor before using them, do your own research, you know, don't, yeah. Just do your own research. I'm not a doctor, so just making that disclaimer. Lift lighter when using the weights. So 20 to 40% of your rep max, and then only wear them for 20 minutes. So you don't want to wear any longer because it is cutting off the called BFR bands, which is a flow restriction. So yeah, if you have issues with that and don't use them. BFR training is to mimic the effects of high intensity exercise by creating a, a hypoxic environment, which is like low oxygen. Because the outflow of blood is limited using the cuff, capillary blood that has a low oxygen content collects and there is an increase in protons and lactic acid. So overall, it supposedly helps build muscle faster using lighter weight. They use it in physical therapy for people who are injured and can't lift heavy but still need to build muscle. So basically, the blood flow going into the muscle is more than what's coming out, so it increases the pump. Like the science behind it, why it supposedly builds muscle, because it's like reducing the oxygen, builds a pump, and it mimics like... If you were doing heavy reps, somehow the uh, reducing the oxygen mimics that. So yeah, take that all with the greatest help. Um, but that's the study on it. That's the science behind it. And again, 20 minutes, lightweight. I'm supposed to put them like underneath your, and then you can also use them on your arm, top of your arms, top of your thigh. This should be like a seven out of 10. Like you should not be doing it too tight to where it's like, 7 out of 10, 10 being the tightest, so just keep that in mind. We'll move on to my experience and if I think they're worth it personally. Again, this is just my opinion and my experience with them. So obviously I was using them incorrectly for a little bit. I was using them on heavy weights and all throughout my workout. I definitely think it gave me a good pump. I will put, if I can find some before pictures of like right before I started using them and to now. I also have been in a caloric surplus, so I can't really say which one 
help the most but i definitely feel like it did help gave me a really good pump do i think you need them to make gains no, I really don't. I bought them mainly because at the time I was not able to go to the gym because of the shutdown. I was doing all my leg days at home and obviously I didn't have heavy weights. So I got them, saw that they build muscle using lighter weights. So I was like, all right, bet. I'm going to get some, try it out. I So I think to that it has helped because I had been using it lightweight. And then once I started going back to the gyms, once they opened back up, I was still using them. Thankfully, I didn't have an injury, but I definitely think that they do help, in my opinion. People said I only wear them to make my butt look good. They do make your butt look good, but my butt looks just as good without them. So no, that was not the reason why I was wearing them. I've seen that in my come to the gym with me, I took them off. My butt still looked good and plump without wearing them. So I, I think those comments are honestly just D-U-M-B. I've seen them for like, how long has it been? How long have we been in quarantine? I've been using them for a hot minute. I think they work. They worked for me. I'm going to continue to use them the correct way now that I know. I'm not advertising. Don't go buy them if you don't want to. You don't need them. So, yeah. But if you want to try it, like if you're still working out at home and you do it the correct way, I, you know, do your own research. Decide on your own. But I'll have the link down below to the ones that I now use. So, definitely check them out. I will show y'all what they look like they come in this cute little bag and they just look like this they're a lot sturdier these are some flimsy some flimsy bands that kind of bend like they and then this part is so thick and it hurts when doing hip thrusts or any type of like movement where i have something on it hurts this is just velcro it's got this one little thing and you just put it in so strong they have it in black and pink i just got the pink because i really like pink I am not out here being like, oh my god, go use them. You need them to make gains. Let's be honest, you don't. But do I think that they have helped me make gains? Yes. If you're going to get them, do your research. Ask your doctor. You know, use it safely and correctly. Y'all asked me about them. Y'all asked if I think they work. So I'm just giving y'all my opinion. I'm not going to be like, oh my god, you need these, go shop through my link. You know, I'm, no. You don't genuinely need them, but I think I got them because it helps build muscle using lighter weight. And a lot of us are at home, not going to the gym, and doing at-home workouts. A lot of us don't have access to heavy weights at home, so that is again why I got them. I've been using them for several months. A lot of months actually and I I love them I do think they have helped me also the caloric surplus has helped me I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything because I there's no need to I want everyone's safety before anything else so again consult your doctor do your own research you don't need them if you don't want them or don't have the money you know you just yeah so that was it uh, hopefully I went over everything I talked about which bands I use my opinion on them how to use them correctly and the science behind it i feel like i forgot i'm like forgetting to talk about something but i guess this is just like a little quick video explaining it and answering some of y'all's questions thank you so much for watching if i didn't comment then down below and i'll try and reply to all of them so again, give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Bailey M. Stewart, and I'll see y'all in my next video.